Okay, with the current uh, crossover settings on the JBL behind the screen. JBL 4673A's five screen. I'm only using left and right outer channels. Have you ever been or regular. So low? Well, sounds okay. It's been gone since they let you go. Different to how I was listening on the laptop earlier because the speakers are, are downward firing and hold it and then I've got to turn it around this way so it's facing uh, so the sound uh, top end frequency is more but, now this sounds okay I don't notice any harsh I don't notice any harshness because I've tuned the speakers and they've been tuned but I could tune them a little bit more. Were you afraid to hurt the eyes that love? We could take so But it does. It does. We could take so that go. We could take so the eyes that It does sound a little bit like the vocal. The vocal is kind of fighting against the competition. Of the, uh, the mighty powerful Star Wars LSO. Well, they haven't Star Wars a score for Star Wars since 2005. <laughs> They've only done six Star Wars movies, the LSO. And that's why I boycotted John Williams for Disney Star Wars because he didn't want to use them. But I did find at some point the vocal did sound a bit like. Hmm. Have you ever been so low? You ever been so low? Yeah, I can understand that. Have you ever been so low? And believe me, I have been so low. I've been the lowest in my life ever since 2020, and I'm still feeling the repercussions of it. And I don't think I would ever get past it. Loss of my uncle, loss of my dad, loss of my cat city. I won't get over it. Period. Have you ever been so low? Yes, you had a heart. It's been gone since they let you go. Heart, it's been gone since they let you. I find between there and the vocals, it not very punchy and not very intelligible. Did you ever feel that you're on your own? Did you ever feel that you're on your own? Did you ever feel that you're on your own? I find maybe the maybe the piano instrumental might be slightly getting in the way of the uh, the vocal and uh, the frequency of the vocal, the dynamic range of the vocal, even though, you know, it's microphoned up close. But this is listening to it on the, on the, what? Oh. There might be two mixes. There might be this studio version, and then there might be a CD version that might be different. I don't know. Um, but there would be control over the, there will be a lot more control over the vocal, but really, um, you know, this technique could be done s several ways. Separate in a separate room, maybe with a, 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 an echo or a, a whatever. You know, you could do this several ways and post and every post it, uh, edit it, tighten it all up. Maybe even do the vocals separate in the same hall. So you do the, uh, you know, the instrumental first and then you do the vocals, you know, but doing it all at the same time, you know, partly the instrumental from the orchestra is going to go move round at there, route round the, the Abbey Road uh, studio and bam into that microphone at the speed of sound. Um, but I do find a bit of competition there at, at some point. Did you ever feel that you're on your own? 
sing with me until I get home Cause I'm feeling low Wow Cause I'm feeling so low Yeah, I'm feeling so low Yes, I'm feeling so low Have you ever walked when you said you wouldn't? Have you ever walked when you said you wouldn't? You ever walked when you said you wouldn't? Yeah. Long to be who they wanted, but long to be who they wanted, but I need subtitles there. Long to be who they wanted, but you couldn't. Long to be who they wanted, but I honestly need subtitles there because honestly, I find that just a little bit unintelligible and seeing yeah where it uh, you know um, but don't forget if you had an actual microphone or camera with good good uh, good stereo field recording on the camera on the camcorder and you, you're moving in and out where the camera is where they're vi videoing yeah and the, the camera microphone the sound is going to be the total opposite to what we are listening to here in this mixed version, this kind of mixed live version. Uh, the pickup on the microphone will be totally different and his voice will sound so distant, it will sound incredibly distant and way incredibly unintelligible. Uh, because you'll be more nearer to the orchestra instruments and those instrument levels and frequency levels will be a lot higher and would just mm, acoustically mask it. Could it get you run away when it got too far? No, I just find it a little bit unintelligible in certain parts. I mean, listen to some of the early James Bond movie score uh, opening titles, you know. Yeah, gold, Goldfinger, it sounds rough and harsh because of the recording technique and it sounds like it's distorting a bit on Shirley Bassey. But you get something like, like uh, you know, a few other ones like Diamonds Are Forever or Moonraker. You know, that, that cut, the lyrics cut through nicely. Uh, you get to um, uh, Lulu or uh, The Man with the Golden Gun, the lyrics punch through clearly against the instrumental so you know you've got the lyrics and you've got the instrumental you've got two competitions there and they they seem to play out nicely i can understand the words you get to something like spectre sam smith writing on writings on the wall thumbs down i can't understand a bloody single lyric and thank goodness i never brought the movie because up to up to the last previous one I think it was um, flipping um, Quantum of Solace. I thought that's it. No more blonde bomb for me, thank you very much. Because the music score openings were all dreadful, and the iconic opening dun, 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 was what left to the end of them. What were the? What was bloody broccoli and that bloody? Um, uh, Wilson guy, bloody smoking for Christ's sakes. Anyway. Were you afraid to hurt the eyes that love? Were you afraid to hurt the eyes that love? No, I, I just find the lyrics, the vocals there, are just a little bit unintelligible. I'm not going to go through the entire video length here, so I just, if I can't understand the lyrics as clear and punchy in the first few seconds or so then it's thumbs down but the LSO oh yeah thumbs up I'll just let it go on a little bit more because I know the uh, the choir comes in yeah. I'd rather listen to this song this music without the freaking lyrics my god it sounds it sounds like they dragged in a cat off the alley, you know?
I rather listen to the the instrumental and the and the choir voices. Anyway, that's about as enough as I can take.